I'm Danny Graham with Armor Seed. Uh, we're in a field of soybeans, 43R43s, planted about the, uh, the 1st of May in Marmaduke, Arkansas. Today I'm going to show you uh, kind of what to expect out of uh, pre-emerge damage and then our second over-the-top shot. Uh, these beans went through a lot of uh, adverse conditions early on. Uh, you can see on the stalk where the valor burn them when they came up. A lot of that's healing over now, uh, getting a lot of scar tissue. These beans should be fine without any uh, late season repercussions from the uh, early application of Valor. Most of this plant has healed over. Doesn't look like we let any disease in there. We seed treated these beans, so I think we got our, our benefit out of that. When you slice this tissue open, you can see everything's the color it needs to be. A good white tissue in there. Doesn't look like any disease presence at all. So this bean is going to uh, callus over and not have any further issues from that uh, pre-emerge herbicide damage. And you can see the, uh, the burn damage on them now. What we've done, we've came back with a uh, first shot over the top post-emergence with a uh, quart of prefix and uh, Roundup. And that's all the burn we're seeing. That's just something we're gonna have to deal with from here on out on our soybean crop in order to keep the pigweeds down. We have got to uh, live with a lot of this early season herbicide injury that we see. Uh, this field uh, was in corn last year, and as you can see, this is pigweed central up here. Uh, we have a terrible resistance itch issue in this part of the world. Uh, we had corn out here last year, kept a lot of those pigweeds from going to seed, but we did have a few. But you can see this grower's done a phenomenal job of keeping these beans clean. Uh, and in order to do so, we just have to put up with this damage. That's just part of, part of what we're going to have to deal with. Uh, that growers are going to have to uh, basically bite the bullet on and put up with. It's either this or pigweeds. There, there's very few instances where you, uh, where you don't get both. 